Good evening everyone. So in this report, the report the report the reports all about multiplexing. It is chapter 8 of our discussion of this subject. So <coughs> first from definition itself what is multiplexing? So, multiplexing is a way of sending multiple signals or streams of information over a communication link at the same time in the form so it could be single or a complex signal so the signals reaches its destination so the process called the multiplexing so the multiplexing recovers the separate signals and outputs them into individual lines so after combining all signals from multiplexer, so multiplexers and the multiplexer connected using a single single medium. So the signals or the data transmitted in a <coughs> in a cable. So for example, in a fiber optics if it will reaches in the the multiplexer the multiplexers recovers it and separate the signals one by one and send it into individual lines network use a variety of multiplexing techniques but at a conceptual level they are they are all operate in a similar manner the, and also individual network signals are input into multiplexer so this is the meaning how uh, this is the what I say is earlier so what multiplexing used for so this is the question in our mind para aha ang multiplexing so, so in a wide range industries so they are facilitate both analog digital signal communication using multiplexing so in a company or in a industries they are implementing multiplexing on their networks for a reason so to enable network device so to communicate with each other without needing a dedicated connection between each device first although multiplexing still requires shared made media so and also to have a better uh, to be better utilize scarce or expensive network resources so for example multiplexing can be used to transmit multiple signals across a satellite uplink or in a cable or fiber strand so in a major areas so there are many types of multiplexing so first the reporters discusses all about frequency division multiplexing so on a communication link is divided into sub channels of different frequency widths so each carrying a signals in a parallel with the other signal so the Reporter says that the common <coughs> devices that uses frequency division multiplexing or FDM is the analog radio transmission. So the radio transmission commonly uses FDM to multiplex their signals across the radio waves. So and also FDM or the frequency division multiplexing can be seen in our home so in our cable TV or in our analog cable TV so sending multiple ch channels down at the same strands in strands of coaxial cable so that is the uses of frequency division multiplexing so next the reporters also discuss about time division multiplexing. So multiple signals are 
transmitted over the same channel in alternating time slots. So, time division multiplexing operate, operate the temporal levels. So, unlike FDM and <coughs> Unlike FDM, which operate at the frequency or wavelength level, although TDM has its roots in telegraphy, it is now commonly used in digital telephony to transmit multiple conversations across a common medium. <coughs> so that is the time division multiplexing. And also, the reporters discusses wavelength division multiplexing. So, in a WDB or WDM, multiple communications channels are consolidated and then transmitted on light waves with different wavelengths. So, conceptually, this is similar to FDM. So, except that FDM is described in terms of frequency.